How's it going, everyone? And welcome back to the City Earth, where today, I'm not doing anything crazy except for climbing the ladder, but I just want to give a shout out. We've got two patrons so far on over on uh, patreon.com slash city earth. So a huge thank you. And I also have a new overlay thing I'm going to try. I have to add it to the thing here. I don't know if it's possible to do it right now. But I have... Oh, I'm actually playing the wrong deck. No, I'm not. Why is my... I have a deck tracker thing. I don't know how to get it to capture. Um, Alright. So anyway. Uh, you can't see it. I can see it. But it's actually tracking the wrong deck. So we're going to get rid of these cards. And then I'm going to get myself set up. Ugh. All right, I want to get my Hearthstone Tracker thing to work. I've never actually used this before. So I'm just going to pretend it's not here. You know, I'm going to close out of it. It's very distracting. Next time, I guess. All right, um, we got nothing to use. So it's going to be it's going to be our opponent's turn. But anyway, I wanted to start things off real quick by uh, a mini announcement. I will be doing another actual announcement video, I guess. But for those of you who actually watch the Hearthstone content, uh, I will be doing a pack opening video, as I'm sure that comes as no surprise. But the difference being that I'm going to have open donations, because I'm opening 50. I'm spending the $50 in packs, and that's all the money I'm going to be able to personally front towards it, other than getting gold from completing quests and various other things. I'm actually very surprised he didn't try to take on my doof, but I'm going to make him pay for that right now. Let's go ahead and get rid of him. So we got him with taunt. I think I'll just take it out with me. That way we can leave the divine shield on him. And we'll go from there. Probably Silver Moon Portal next turn. But um I'm trying to think here. So I will be doing a thing where we open up donations for packs, and you are able to do that right now. If you do go to twitch.tv slash sleepyhearth. There's a link in the description or a link in the bottom for you to be able to donate. And you click on that. It's gonna give you some sweet swag. Or not um, <laughs> well, I don't know why I said that. It's gonna give you the oh wow, that's a pretty good top deck there. It's gonna give you the option to either donate through Twitch alerts if you happen to be watching me on stream, or you can donate through uh the not Twitch alerts version, and it's just PayPal, and yeah. I think the only stipulation is I'm not going to allow anything more than $20 at a time, just because, I don't know, I think that'd be a bit crazy, <laughs> but we'll uh, cross that bridge when it gets to it. Alright, so we got to take out this guy here. Do I want to throw my Divine Shield at it? Do I want to do something else? Trying to figure out the best course of action here. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll chuck you at it. We'll kill the 2 2 ourselves here. And then. They're out of Sword of Justice. And because I don't think he's going to kill it right, kill it right away. We're going to go ahead and draw some card draw, because we do need some of that. And we'll hold off on using Blessing of Might for anything. Probably wait for one of the eggs to get out here, you know? Alrighty. This is why I should really write out notes before I begin these things. I feel like there was something else I wanted to do. I don't truly really remember what it was offhand. A big toad, you say? That's fine. You can have your toad keep it for all I care. Because I have the Arcano Smith. So there we go with that. I think what I'm gonna do is uh do I wanna use up another charge? Having another two two on the field might be good, but it might not be. I think we're just gonna go for face. I'm going to take a page of the Hunter's Book. But we will plop down Avenge. 
that is a thing that will in fact happen. So I'm really looking forward to the new set. You know, the cards that they've been spoiling have been pretty good. The only thing I'm not crazy about is there's a lot of cards of the whole if you don't have any other copies of cards in your deck. So it's encouraging a lot of Reno style decks where things you only have like one of one of things. And I think I can understand why. Because uh, it promotes a lot more interesting decks because you get a lot more card variety since there are so many cards. But at the same time, I don't know. I like being able to run a lot of two of things. That's just kind of how I roll. Oh man. Dreadscale. Kind of surprised he's running that. To be honest. Okay. So how do I want to do this? This is going to be a tough one. I think what we're going to do... Is I will use a reinforce. And a defender of Argus. And there we go. Also throw out the noble. And... Yeah, we'll call it a day. We'll finish it with that. I think what I'm also going to do, as evident by uh, if I do it or not, is I might do a, a review video of all the cards that come out. And some of the cards I'll review for a little bit longer than others, but we'll find out. Oh, I'm actually kind of glad he attacked with that one. Because I still get to keep my 3-1. Well, I guess Dread Scale will technically end that deal, but, you know. Depending on how this plays, we might have Lethal for the next turn. And now he's going to get to kill it. That's fine, we might still have it. Because good old Kings and Might. And there we are, that's all we needed. That's so how we end our games of victory. No crazy Mormons here today. Sweet. We're on streak. I don't know if I played anything with Battlecry. I did. A couple things. We're actually pretty close to finishing this uh, quest. By the way, I don't know if this is going to end up being true or not. And if it is, I'll be both excited and terrified at the same time. They're going to apparently... I read an ar article on Hearthpone. Uh, basically, long story short is they're going to let you use WoW Gold to buy... I mean, you could buy the WoW tokens, but they're going to let you use WoW tokens to fund other things in your Battle.net account, such as just being able to trade it for Battle.net currency, a.k.a. you can then spend that on Hearthstone cards. So you can essentially, in a very convoluted way, farm out gold for Hearthstone cards. Yeah. That's going to be... Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out, if if it in fact comes to pass. I have a feeling if it uh, makes them lose a lot of money, maybe not, but it could be them or a way for them to get people to pay for World of Warcraft subscriptions again. Because if you think about it, say you get a WoW token, and I don't know how much gold you make, because you probably have to spend a decent amount of time farming it out, but depending on how much gold you actually make, um, what's going to end up happening is you have to buy a WoW token, and if you don't want to pay any money, you have to buy a WoW token just to keep your WoW sub. Then you have to buy a WoW token to trade for battles in that currency to then buy Arsenal cards. That's a, that's a pretty significant amount of effort. I'm going to go ahead and throw that on this just to have a one mana turn one. All right. Um... Trying to think here. So then, yeah, then... Or, or you spend $15 a month. And then you end up still... You know, so you're spending $15 a month, which equates out, I believe... I forget how many packs offhand. I can't access the shot while I'm in the middle of a game. But it's $15 worth of packs. And you play a game. But that game, then you... God, it's so hard for me to do meth while I'm doing this, too. It's crazy. 
This Divine Shield Paladin thing I've seen twice today. I don't know what's going on with that. I think I will use one charge to get rid of this 1-1 one, one, though. Alright. So. What's he gonna do? So yeah, long story short, it's gonna be interesting to see how it maths out. How much time you have to spend to kind of make it worth it. Because who really knows? Alright, so we have a 6 5 we're dealing with. That's fine. That's A OK with me. Hmm. This is tough. How do I play this out? We have 4 mana. Um. Could cog hammer. Cause here's what I'm thinking. Alright. So I have the idea. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of this. And there we are. Then we're gonna draw a cog hammer. Gonna give it to that. That's fine. And then, depending on how next turn plays out, we'll be able to get rid of a 6 5. Let's pray he doesn't have a consecrate. Because if he does, that would suck. But I also want to not wait, let that one mana go to waste when I could spend it. Okay, Barnes is fine. Yep, this is fine. This is actually more than fine. Everything that I wanted and more. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. We're going to go ahead and... Should I pop the shield with my shield? Or should I just pop the shield with this? Probably just probably with this. And there we are. So now we have a 4-4. Four, four. Um... I think I'll let him pop the shield though. And what I'll do. It's a three mana draw two if I play out Noble Sacrifice with Divine. I feel like he's not going to get much more card draw. So we might as well just do that, to be honest. Oh, sweet. It's actually a pretty good value right there. And. Could, could pop a shield. Yeah, let's just pop a shield. And go with that. Alright. Oh man. My tea has been steeping for a very long time. Let's go ahead and take out the tea leaves. Yeah. There we go. Good ol' Avenge. True Silver Champion. Give us another dude, and we're good to go. Alright. Hmm. Oh, really? He's gonna throw that out there with no buffs. It's weird. Alright. And now we get our own barns, if we should choose to do that. So, let's see. Lots of options. Probably, notably, is this one right here. And then, I think we will also use the barns. Sweet, we got it. We got that value. And then we're gonna go ahead and get rid of his one twos here. I kinda wanna send my two one into his face to be honest. But I think just getting rid of his two one would be or his one two would be better. We're getting low on health, but we have a card advantage and a board advantage. 
So if you can't keep this up, we might be okay. Having tons of divine shields isn't very helpful when you uh, don't have a ton else going on for you. Is he really going to kill Barnes? Huh. Didn't expect that. Hey, there he is. Man of the hour. Alright. Do I kill the 2 2? Is the question. Huh? Oh, sorry. Dirty stealth. Um. We'll do that. And then. We'll sub buff up him. There we are. And we're good. I'm trying to think, the only thing. is if you got some more card draw. Tyrion, mother effing forgering. <laughs> yeah, that is kinda. kinda bad. But. So he's got 8 damage. It's tough. It's tough call. I think the answer is put out rag, to be honest. There's no real way around it. Uh, I could technically end Tyrion. But that'd be giving him still a lot of damage. I don't really know how mess out. I'm just gonna end turn and kind of say, uh, "Jesus, take the wheel." I don't like that. I don't like that at all. All right, this is tough, especially you know when uh, that. But things aren't necessarily the worst, or are they? First off, squelch. <laughs> Let's get that. Let's get that straight. Uh, we might actually live through this. Actually, no, we won't. Because... Because he's got that. Um, yeah, I technically F that up. Yeah, we'll play this out. Can't really hurt. No, that's pretty, pretty hilarious. But he still wins, unless he thinks that's a, a get down. Maybe he'll f up. You never, ever know. And some good tea. Yep, and there it is. Try to bluff our way through it. Didn't work. Oh well. Better luck on the uh, on the next one. Only need two more though for our quests. Let's get to it. And do one more. Oh my god, that noise. Man, oh man, I can't wait to get out of here. This noise in the hallway is always obnoxious. But I do what I can with what I got. So, that's how I see it. But anyway. Alright. Let's see. So I think, hey, we got the Hearthstone deck tracker thing. Except it's kind of in the way. So I'm going to put it over here, which isn't doing anything for you guys. All right. Uh, maybe I need it to track this thing. Hey, get out of my way. It's not even the deck I'm using. Import, constructed, enter the, ah, screw it. <laughs> I'll try it on next time. Alrighty, so, 
What are we starting off with here? A shaman. With charge. Alright. I suppose that'll be a... That'll be a thing. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot going on. I could... I think the answer right now is reinforce and define strength. Just to have something on the field. Just so it's not crazy loss. Probably gonna do possibly steward next turn. Oh wow. Surprised he's using a crackle. Hmm. Well, he crackled that. Maybe he won't have anything to kill a steward here. It won't be fine. But only, only his turn will tell. Still, still racking my brain over the last game. If I could have somehow prevented that loss. That Tyrion really threw things off. So probably not, but maybe at the same time. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Plus getting Ragnaros the Light Lord kind of, you know, a lot of crazy stuff there. So much Divine Shield, it was crazy. And now we're sitting here, waiting for a penguin to take his or her turn. Maybe, maybe we won't see that happen at all. Come on, man. Hurry up. Now I can take my turn. Thank God. Alright. Huh. <sighs> I think the answer is... Oh. Well, that would do it. I guess I just straight up win. Cool. Alright. 74 out of 75. We need one more. That's what we need. Alright. Huh. I'm also trying to get the deck tracker thing to work. It's not... There we go, finally. Um... Yeah, I'll keep the sand. Why not? It's crazy. Let's do it. I will sacrifice turn one. No, thank you. Okay. Oh my god. What's going on? Why am I getting all these surrenders? Doesn't make any sense. Let's keep going, boys. Ugh. Meanwhile, I'm trying to get this freaking thing to work. It's not working. Uh, is it an image that I do? No. Yeah, I don't know how this works. Maybe I do have to do a monitor capture. Let's try it out. But 
it's below Hearthstone, so I actually have to move it up. Actually, hold on. No, I'm not going to do that one. Um, this looks like a decent starting hand. Okay. What do we got? Avenge? Sure. The road on the board. I think that's the right one. Nope, that's not it at all. That's not it at all. Things just got crazy. Alright. Let's, uh... Go ahead and throw this out. We good? Hey, there it is. Oh man, it took so long, but we finally got there. Got the deck tracker. Yeah. I don't like this timer though. Ah. Uh, think what we're gonna do hmm. I think we'll pour one divine strength into this and we'll go from there all right so how's this thing work What other things do I not want to un display? Yeah, screw it. The options menu for this thing is way too crazy. Alright, what did he do? Ah, he helped me out, is what he did. Uh, let's see. I could buff my echo news. That's such a long play that I'm not going to do it. So we're just going to get rid of this. And there we are. And then I could plop down another revenge. But I'm going to keep the coin. Keep it around for now. Just because. Because I might, uh, might have a good use for it later. Ah! A Cthulhu deck. All right, I could do that again, oddly enough. Or I could just kill it. The thing is, we might run into... What the heck? We might run into something tougher later. So I think I'll just straight up kill it, because we're going to get a 4-4 out of it. And then... Or the, or the uh, Arcana Smith and Avenge. And there we are. Because if he plops out like an Iron Bar Protector, I'm going to want to reduce that down to a 3 3. You know, I don't want to take out everything here. Yeah, we get it. Cthulhu. Alright. Buffing up that shield, yeah. Now that's what I like to see. Waiting on kings though. So we can get that king so we can buff up that echoing ooze. I guess that works. Probably do a lot of barns. Divine favor is not going to do us a whole lot right now. Let's go and barns it up. Did we get it? We did. Got exactly what I wanted. Could 
could throw divine strength on the egg. But I think I'm not going to do that. Just for now. Just because. Ugh, these disciples are annoying. I do like the random fact ways that pop up down here. Those are really fun. And a wrath. Surprised you took out that. I guess it doesn't really matter. Six to one. Half dozen to the other, I suppose. The champion of the true silver. Alright. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, I could put out a true silver champion right now, just to spend the mana. I doubt he's going to have anything that really kills it. He's got cards he's been waiting for a very long time to play. I wonder what they are. I wonder about we got an iron bark protector. But I guess we'll see that. I don't know if that's true or not. I gotta say, this is pretty helpful. You get to see what they've played, what you've played. It's good stuff. There it is, Ancient, ancient of War. Let's get rid of that. Get out of my swamp. No, technically, I could try a chance on a Ragnaros at it. But I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it, to be honest. I think I'll just say screw it. So we'll keep her that. And there we are. I had a feeling it was going to be something along those lines. So I guess... I guess that's what we get. As for other things... Well, they're out. Dragon Egg. And another bro. There we go. It's our turn. Let's see how he's going to counter that deal. If he does throw out an armbar protector, we have Rag. And that'll only be a 50 50 shot. Sunwalker. Hmm. Poke. Alright. Definitely gonna save that for my echoing news. Gonna build up that combo real quick. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out the most effective way to take that thing out. Probably just do that. And then you. And I'll keep the 3-4 alive. Question is, do I throw a rag right now? Or do I wait? I think throwing a rag might be the best idea. There we go. That's going to force him to make some interesting choices. We still have a card he's been waiting 10 turns to cast. Don't know if it's anything good or not. Really? He's got nothing in hand. I don't know. He's got, he got the, those cards on turn 10. Never mind. I, I was reading this thing wrong. Uh, <laughs> I had that thing wrong the whole time. But, uh, yeah. Now he's gonna put out some crazy. Oh, never mind. He could draw to Cthulhu any time. So that is kind of scary. Alright. Um, not a whole lot I can do. Hmm. It's kind of a tough call. I have two sets of card draw. I'm trying to think. 
I kind of want to maximize divine favor. But I don't know how I'd go about doing that. I think we'll throw Anakin Ooze for now. Just kind of to do it. I think I'll wait till next turn. Let's see what we get. Let's see what Ray wants to do. Right for the gusto. I still can't believe we haven't drawn any kings. Or any of our other buffs. For the buff pally deck, we're uh, facing a severe lack of them right now. And finally, you guys get to see the entire deck throughout the entire time. It's a shame it's at the end of this part of the video here. Ugh. So we we could be facing a 16-16 Cthulhu pretty quickly. And it'll wipe the field and then some. But does he have it? Probably not. I would definitely say not. Ugh. So many things. Let's get there, man. Let's go. Now, last ditch effort to heal himself. Do I have a way to kill that? Hmm. What I'm going to have to do, because I know buffs are coming, so I don't want to overspend on mana. Here's what I'm going to do. Is there a wisdom on that? Also going to draw a dragon egg. Also going to draw out divine strength. And play out the coin. Uh, if I do that, that's almost too much. So they'll draw two, draw three. If we get a king's, this will be over. Cool. Well, I guess it's not technically over. It's close. So Rag is hitting him up. Still could be a close one if he has that Cthulhu. Alright. That's not what I was expecting. Oh. Alright. Kind of have the replay, I guess. Cool. And we're on the win streak. And we got the 100 gold. And an extra 10. Cool beans. 405. That's four of the new packs we can open. Awesome. What quest we got now? Warrior. Cool. Alrighty. Those of you watching on Twitch right now, I'm not going anywhere. This outro is just for the VOD on YouTube. So stick around. And for those of you watching on YouTube, well... Uh, there it is. Once again, check me out over on patreon.com slash the CV hearth. So, uh, yeah, like I said before, got that goal by next October. I want to be able to devote tons more time to all kinds of YouTube goodness, and you guys are going to help make it happen. If you are unable to donate but wish to, things that still help are subscribing to the channel, of course, hitting likes on the videos, and leaving comments because they all go towards them YouTube analytics and in their own very special way increase the amount of money that each video makes. I do not know how much per se it works, but it does in fact impact it. So leaving comments and stuff, always a good idea. Even if you don't like it. Even if you were unhappy with what you saw. Every comment counts. 
So, all right, guys. Thank you for sticking it out. I know I haven't really come up with any new deck ideas in a while. Been kind of stale. It's kind of how it uh, kind of how it goes, you know. Expansion comes around, then new ideas come about, and then they eventually fizzle out, and then the new expansion comes out, and we repeat the cycle again. So, pretty soon, we'll be seeing some good stuff. So, till then, see ya later.